This is a series about love that doesn't involve seeking it outside of ourselves. We are whole. I want to renew my vows to myself and buy myself a ring, an earring, likely an ear cuff. I think birthdays are a celebration of self, that you've made it another year around the sun. It's a celebration of being alive since your birth in this body. It's honoring who you are now, but it's not necessarily a commitment to showing up as your highest self in your relationship with yourself. I'm thinking more a marriage. In a marriage, you make vows and affirm your commitment to do your best in that relationship. Where is the commitment to doing your best to yourself? Culturally, I don't know of a commitment to higher self ceremony, so I'm going to have one. What it'll involve is something anyone can replicate and adjust to their preferences. First, we write down our vows. We share how we want to show up as our ideal self, how we want to prioritize our heart's calling and listen to our soul above external influence. We commit to treat ourselves with a deep level of love to show ourselves the utmost compassion to commit to challenging ourselves and growth we even get specific about materially physically externally how that shows up alike to resolutions vision boards or goal setting which we can commit to regularly updating then we hold a ceremony for self however it feels right I prefer water ceremonies, swimming in the ocean, a cold shower, but something purifying with water. Finally, a daily reminder of this commitment. This is where the jewelry comes into play. I'm seeking a gold ear cuff and would love your recommendations on a jeweler. The jewelry is easy. The writing of vows might be a challenge, but the true work is becoming a living embodiment of that higher self. Living up to the vows that we have for ourselves is likely the most rewarding work we can do in this lifetime. But it's not to stress about. We were born whole, so it's more so unbecoming, then re-envisioning, plus a little bling.